Thank you, Undersecretary, for being here today, and thanks to both Chairman and Ranking Member for holding this hearing. Ag research is so incredibly important. Growing up in western North Dakota, I can remember there were just a few crops we could grow very well uh, on dry land farming, and now the diversity in terms of the crop out there is amazing and is a credit to ARS and to NIFA and the great research done not only at USDA but at our land-grant universities. It's just, it's just unbelievable in terms of productivity and disease resistance, and it continues. So this, this is such an important area, and one of the things that we're really pushing forward now with is precision agriculture. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've started a concept at North Dakota State University, it's, it's the, called Grand Farm, and it's actually a public-private partnership where they've actually uh, set up a cooperative agreement with the USDA, uh, with ARS specifically, to do um, research on precision ag, and they've acquired land, and it, the, the theory actually is that they're gonna have a fully automated farm. Now, you know, I mean, self-propelled vehicles and the whole nine years. Now, it won't be just like unmanned aircraft aren't unmanned, right? There's a pilot. He's just on the ground, not in the aircraft. But it, it involves all these things. And so first, I, I want uh, to invite you to come out and see it. Now, as Senator Smith will tell you, we have lovely winters in North Dakota and Minnesota. Great Christmas time, white Christmas, you know. But certainly you could come in the summer or spring uh, if you would. But we'd love to invite you to come see it. Well, I will share with you that I've been to North Dakota in the summer, and it was 104 degrees. <laughs> yeah, <that's laughs> true. So I'm not sure what, what is the best time of year to go to North Dakota, Senator Hovind. Uh, absolutely. You know, ag is high tech. You know, when we, you talk to most Americans, they have no idea how high tech agriculture is. And once again, talking about infrastructure, those things are only possible if you have broadband access, if you have smart young people. I'm not saying that old folks can't do it, but a lot of young people who understand bio biology and computer systems and informatics who can come in and help us build AI systems, machine learning. Um, and then we need traditional breeders who can breed plants um, that can be ha mechanically harvested. And so, so it's a full spectrum. Of, of needs. And so precision agriculture, once again, relies on data. You know, we can't do it without data. And so where do we store that data? How do we analyze it? So we also need high tech IT infrastructure, looking at high performance computing, looking at cloud storage. And once again, a cadre of people who know how to use those systems to be able to give us the answers we need. I would be more than happy to come and, uh, and, and tour the site. I would love to be able to visit, to see it in action, especially since you're partnering with ARS. Yeah, well, I appreciate it. And these cooperative agreements are a great, great way to do more of what you just um, described. And, and I think you're right on there. The only thing I wouldn't agree with when you said us old people, if you were talking about me and Bozeman, <laughs> us old people would apply. In your case, that doesn't apply at all. Um, but then the other thing is um, just for uh, in the remaining time here, touch on in terms of ARS and NIFA, mm -hmm. how you see the two working together, coordinating, and, and, and as we go into this next farm bill, you know, what are your priorities both for ARS and NIFA, and you know, what do you see as the most effective thing we can do to enhance? I mean, I think they're already great programs, right? But how do we improve them in this next farm bill? I, th I think the opportunity to have those conversations about like how are things working, the, uh, you know, how, how, what are some technical fixes, you know, all those things that we're poised to, to comment on. Uh, and then there's this opportunity. I think I'm one of the few people who've had an opportunity to work in both ARS and NIFA and actually head both agencies. Um, there's only two agencies in REE I haven't been a member of, so I may do an internship in either NAS or ERS. <laughs> Um, so I, can, I have the benefit of seeing the, the t high level opportunities to connect more of the dots. And I think that what you've done in terms of your support for us is very important. And we need to work with you as we capitalize on those investments. Infrastructure, increased agriculture research investment, and the next generation of agriculture professionals. Great. Again, thanks for your work. Really Thank appreciate you. it. And for being here today.